dunker spot. So let's go dunker spot on this side. The dunker spot is kind of right here on the baseline. The post player's back is towards the baseline. Chest is pointed towards you know, the opposite side of the floor. And the post player is just right here, kind of low position, getting ready to relocate or do whatever they need to do. Because the whole dunker spot idea is that if I am guarding the dunker spot, if I am all the way down here guarding the dunker spot, that leaves a lot of room open for people to drive in and make a layup. But now, if I step up, well, Taha, let's say you drive it right to the middle. Now if I step up and I'm guarding that player, well now they're open from the dunker spot. So this is dribble drive stuff really, um, is where it comes from. But it could be in multiple different offenses. So we're gonna go through a couple of different movements out of the dunker spot. We're gonna go circle along the baseline. So actually, Taha, you're gonna start right here. You're gonna drive middle with your left hand and the dunker spot player is gonna just circle kind of behind the rim, step in right here, get behind the defense and then go in for a layup. Yeah, you can go. That circle behind, let's do the same thing other side. Same thing other side, so we're just circling kind of behind the goal and behind the defense. All right, now we're gonna circle up to the short wing. So you're gonna start right there and you're just kind of circling up into this area, the short wing. You're gonna drive, yep, Taha, you're gonna drive there. And what we're saying is I'm guarding this player and I stay right here the whole time. So you're just gonna shape up and get a short jump shot right there out of the dunker spot. Yeah, you'll drive middle. Yep, so this is just circling up to the short wing. Let's do the same thing other side. So we're going from the dunker spot and then just kind of circling up right here. Good, now we're gonna go circle up to a short hook shot. So you're gonna be even closer to the basket. So we'll have the driver, you're gonna drive, hit that spot right there. And you're just kind of going right behind them for almost a handoff. And then as you hand off, you're kind of a screener almost. And then you're hitting a hook shot or jump shot right behind them. There we go, let's do the same thing, other side. So this is just circling behind your driver. Now we're gonna go duck in from the dunker spot. So I am gonna be the defender. You're just gonna slide in and like create post position. So the offensive player is gonna drive middle. He can start in the dunker spot. I am guarding the post player right here. So we're just saying I stay right here. This offensive player is gonna duck in to create post position, hit me pretty hard, yep. And then you would have driven right there and then you're just gonna feed him just like that. Okay, so let's do that both sides. So this is, this is ducking in, I won't play defense, but this is ducking in from the dunker spot. Very good. And this is a good move because if help defense is already right here in the middle, the offensive player just has to come over and create that position. So this is ducking in from the dunker spot. You can do this from the block as well. All right, now we're gonna create position off of a pin and spin. So what we're gonna say is, we've got a post player, so you're an offensive post player right there. Taha, you're just gonna be right here with the ball. So we're gonna say there's a ball reversal you could either be a pass or it could be a dribble. So you're just gonna dribble, not yet, but you're just gonna dribble from here to there. And what the post player is gonna do is a pin and spin, a spin and pin. So what we're saying is you're posting up and I'm fronting you, but as the ball is reversed or dribbled, you're gonna spin, yep, that way, and then pin the defender right there. And when you spin, you can take one step this way, but get it to where catching position where you're right here for the layup as opposed to, you know, catching it all the way out here. Okay, so let's just go pin, uh, spin and pin. Hold on, let's restart. I'll, I'll set up on defense. All right, so you're trying to post up. You're trying to post up and feed right here. There we go. Let's do the same thing other side. So we're trying to post up. There we go, so that is the spin and pin. Okay, so a similar move we're gonna do is from the elbow. So the, this is a rare move, but Celtics used to do it. So we're gonna say all of our teammates are pretty high, you know, they're outside the three-point line. There's no help defense in the paint. 
So we're going to say, I'm the defender on the post player. They're trying to get it at the elbow, but what you're going to do is just spin off of it and then cut, and then you're throwing a lob, either lob, catch it, lay up, or dunk, or whatever. Okay, so this is just a spin off an elbow. Yep, there we go. Let's see the other side. So you got to be able to spin, turn, and find the basketball. 